with just like who's wearing what jerseys and stuff is that just part of the the process of training camp of trying different groups together or are you planning on some changes or what do you got there yeah I, you know, I said uh, last game I threw Sasha in the starting lineup take a look at him uh, so Dorte will start tomorrow in Kevin's spot uh, it's it's normal for me at least uh, trying to experiment and take a different look at different guys with different lineups that was Keegan uh, Ke Keegan's been good you know what I like about Keegan is uh, defensively you could tell he's worked on his strength he's got a better feel for what he what he needs to do on that end of the floor and, you know he didn't he doesn't get knocked off his spots like he did last year uh, as easily so I, I like that movement offensively you know, he's starting to show that he can do a little bit more than just catch and shoot, which we encourage him to do. I'm at the hand, though. You're good. Oh. Hey, thank you for that, but oh. I appreciate it. I, I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's fine. Okay. I mean, he, he got it. It's like, uh, I mean, you get your finger jammed or whatever, and then he gets hit again, and it's going to bother you. And so he, I think he wasn't I think he might have had to take it back. Yeah. You're going to become real familiar with the Warriors early on in this, game, in this season, yeah. uh, preseason as well. Is there much you can take from this preseason before you go into those regular season matchups? And what's the curiosity there? You know, right, right now, like, the Warriors are in a different place than us. And same with some of the other teams. Like, we're really worried about ourselves. And, you know, we're, we've, we've only put in so much offensively. Uh, really trying to concentrate on the defense end of the floor because we know that was our Achilles heel last year. And so, I mean, it's great to play those guys just because they play so different and they give you different looks offensively. But, I mean, we're, we're going to try to continue to do what we do to get better and not think a ton about them. And I know we're going to play them four or five times this month. But it, 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 whether we're playing the Warriors or the Clippers or the Nets, our process would still be the same. Mike, speaking to that defensive focus, is there any risk at all to that taking away at all from the offensive rhythm or success with that side of the ball? Are those two pretty separated in that sense? No, I, I think there's risk in everything. I mean, we had the number one offense in the history of the game last year, and uh, you know, obviously we have talented offensive guys. Uh, it's, it is what it is, and you know that's a lot of their strengths. But the same breath, you know, in my opinion, and I've been a part of uh, six NBA finals, something like that, and three different teams. And in my opinion, you got to be able to defend. And so in order to have, an, uh, in my opinion, again, a shot at winning it, which is what we're playing for, sometimes you got to mix some things up. Sometimes you got to roll the dice on things and take a chance here. Maybe you might lose a little here, but hopefully you gain a lot here and, and, or there. And, and, and so change uh, can impact you in a lot of different ways, and hopefully it's good when you make the change. But I'm, I'm not one to just sit back and say, "Hey, our offense was great. Let's just keep playing that way, and don't worry too much about the defense because we're going to outscore somebody." Because at the end of the day, it's going to be hard to duplicate what we did offensively. You, you know, it's like going from a good team to a great team when you only have this far to go and you're in the upper echelon. It's hard. Offensively, I mean, we were here. And to even go here or to keep it there, ooh, it's going to be harder, you know. But defensively, we were here. So we got a lot of room to grow. So let's try to do what we can to take advantage of it, growing at it, while maybe losing a little offensively. And if we do, I still think we'll be a really, really good team. You mentioned putting Chris in there for Kevin. I'm curious, would you had kind of the same lineup the whole year last year. Yeah. Um, what do you need to see out of Kevin? Like, what, what do you want to see out of him this year, maybe for him to stay in that starting lineup? Well, not just Kevin, but, but, but everybody. You know, the, one of the things that we really are emphasizing is our physicality. And, you know, I explained to you guys a couple of times, hey, when you come across and help out with our help defense, you got to take a hit in the chest, which means you got to go vertical or you got to take a charge. Um, on the ball and pick and roll situations, you got to get up into that ball and you got to get over the screen at the same time because what we are doing as a group, and not just Kevin, there's a few of our guys that are doing this, we're staying here, we hear the command, so we're sending the ball to the, to the screen, which is where the help is, but then as the screen's coming, we're not getting into the ball to skinny up and get over the top. We're chasing the ball. And now that ball is turning downhill. And now you got Domas there, and you have our other defenders trying to play five on four. 
against a team that's most teams are really long or really athletic, and it makes it tough. So I have to put more pressure on our guards to help us better in the pick and roll so we don't face that pressure getting downhill. And now teams are getting spray threes and lives at the rim and, and us ending up being 30th in the NBA in pick and roll defense. I imagine you had a conversation with Kevin about that. How did he, how did he take that, that he's going to come off the bench for just the next game? Ah, he was fine. Yeah, yeah. And and, and uh, I didn't have just again, I didn't have a conversation just with Kevin. It, it's it's the whole team that needs to do that because there are other guys, in my opinion, that need to get better with the physicality of the game of basketball, especially on the defensive end, for us to take steps. What do you like about uh, the idea of Duarte at the two, and is that something you would consider doing in the regular season as well? I, I'll consider anything, you know, anything that I think will help us. And I said this before, sometimes when you take risk or you do things differently, it can backfire and mud can be on your face. And I'll be the first one to say that it was my decision because every decision I make will be to, in my, in my opinion, will be to help this team be better. Uh, and, and so with, with Dorte, what he did in the last game, he did exactly the things that I was, I'm asking. If you go back and you watch the tape, anytime he was involved in a pick and roll on the ball, he got up, he skinned over, and he went over the top with it with the ball handler. Uh, he was involved in a DHO with a, what we call a hot guy, a guy that could shoot it. He got into his body and he rode him over the DHO and he had his deflector hand there and almost got a steal. Uh, transition defense. I think it was Christian Wood, tried to post him up, boom, he hit him, stood him up, and then he got in front and got a steal because they tried to throw it in late. Um, you know, his ability to chase, you know, he, a guy doesn't have the ball, pin down comes, gets into his body and gets over the top with that guy, and now, he, you know, you don't get anything because he's coming over the top with you. And so those aspects defensively when it comes to being physical defensively, uh, he did very, very well. He did it at a high level, and that's what we're going to expect from all of our guys throughout the course of the year. How much having his relationship with Domas kind of plays into this, get him acclimated, get him rolling early in the season, let him have some time with Domas? Well, you know, it's funny, cause, and that's kind of the reason why I started uh, Sasha in Alaska, because Sasha plays really well off the ball. Pass, and it passes and cuts and moves and all that other stuff. And, and um, uh, um, you know, so to be able to throw him out there with Thomas to see what it looks like, to be able to throw Dorte out there with Thomas to see what it looks like because they're two new guys and they haven't really had a chance to do that is something that, that I'm going to look at as well. Have Mike, your offensive and defensive staples changed at all coming into this year? No. No, the one that we're emphasizing more defensively is being physical without fouling. And I'm okay. You know, if we foul too much, I'm going to be upset, but I'd rather us foul too much trying to be physical and then tell the guys, try to work on the guys scaling back than to not be physical and not have anybody feel us with, with, with the fouling situation. So what's, what might be the but who's, who's on, who on the team so far in camp is surprised with how they perform? Uh, you know, I, I, I think everybody with how hard they play, you know, um, and how much they're trying to pick up what we're, what we're trying to do, you know. Um, Dorte has played well. Sasha has played well. You know, two of the new guys. Uh, you know, Domas has played well. Foxy's played well. And, and so, you know, it's not, not where... Not to a point to where I'm like, oh my gosh, these guys are better than that. No, I expect Domas, I expect Foxy to get better every year because I think Foxy's on the right track to, to reach the field. And the great part about it, he's got a lot of run. So it's not, not necessarily this guy has surprised me and that guy has surprised me because these guys have been working all, all summer. And I've been watching them throughout the course of the summer. And, and, and what I'm seeing now is some of their work paying off. Mike, you said early in camp that you were you were changing some things offensively a little bit, um, somewhat in, in response to what happened in the Warriors series. Domas kind of mentioned it earlier. What what is changing, and, and how are they adjusting? To, to those changes? Uh, they're they're adjusting good. Now the tough part about it is we as a staff have put them in a box, and we're trying to make them uh, read what we want to do offensively quicker and better and with more space. And um, it's a little new term, but the thing that we changed, it's, it's a, out of our early flow, 
and basically we averaged running that four times a game last year. So it's not it's not a huge change, you know. Uh, and it's the, the initial look is similar. It's just more free flowing with more space and the ability to cut harder and or sweep. Bump shooter takes it away to be able to counter with a cut another direction to cover the spacing. And, and, uh, uh, so uh, that that's probably the biggest thing that, that has changed. But it, it's a it's a huge change to the guys because right now that's all we're basically let the play out of. Mm -hmm. you know? So they're running. They have to run it half the time because the other thing that we do during games we did it all the last year and it's the same exact thing so that's what's a, what's a little new we, we did did this thing four times a game 3.8 I think to be exact now we're asking them to do it 30 times a game you know and and so it is something a little new that they got to get used to but they're getting better at it as we go along what's that that's one Jason okay go, go uh, Steve <laughs> It's called either four or five. He, are you paying this dude? <laughs> this dude right here is four or five. Okay. okay. So it's our five. Our five has changed a little bit from last year. Okay. Thank you guys. Appreciate it.